Hello, I'm Damien Jones from h and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about the motorcycle auction we've got going on on Wednesday, June the 9th at the National Motorcycle Museum at Solihull. We've been to the NMM for the last few years and it really is, we believe, the best venue in the country for a bike sale. We've got a fabulous selection that my colleagues Mike Davis and Ian Cunningham have brought together, 150 bikes varying across all the eras from veteran Banbury Run eligible machines through to modern classics and quite a few barn finds, as you can see behind me with this lovely Vespa and the BSA. I'll run through some of the highlight lots hereafter, but the auction is open to the public, but please, you will have to book in when you arrive. So you must remember face masks, and you must be prepared to give your contact details for track and trace. We're on view on the Wednesday, June the 9th, from nine until 12. The auction itself will start at 12 o'clock. We very much hope to see you there. Thank you. 1960 Velocet Venom. In the current family ownership from new, subject to an engine overhaul, a matching numbers machine, started life in Cannock before being passed from father to son, and the son was based in Walsall. I just love the history. A 1914 Sparkbrook V-Twin, one of three known survivors reputedly the only 1914 V-Twin model remaining. Restored in 2010 stroke 2011 to show winning standard, a very handsome and very usable veteran machine. Another very handsome and potentially once it's restored very usable veteran, the 1921 Monopole 560cc V-Twin. Now this is thought to be, we can't prove it, but it's thought to be the only example ever made. It's also seemingly a two owners from new bike. It comes with a duplicate RF60 logbook from 1930 and a continuation RF60 logbook from 1961 with the original owner's name recorded in it. And it has been in the vendor's ownership since 1961, that's 60 years. Now he took it off the road with an engine problem in 1965 and it has been laid up ever since, but it has the makings of a fantastic project and would obviously be a very rare and very sought after thing at shows. A 1975 Norton Commando Mark III. Purchased in 2015 as a restoration project, it's a matching numbers bike and it's had a huge number of new parts fitted, apparently some 840 with a documented list on file. It's said to be running well and has completed less, six, less than 600 miles since it was finished. A great thing. Arguably for some anyway, the star of the show the 1937 Indian 4 437. This bike was purchased by the vendor's very generous wife as a present for him in 1967. It was subsequently restored to concourse standards by Bill Healing in 1984. And although it hasn't been used on the road since 1995, it's been started regularly or it was until 2018. As you might expect, it's featured in Harry V. Susha's book, The Iron Redskin, and it's been UK registered from new. A fabulous looking machine. Rather more modern, uh, but no less special in its way, a 1983 Suzuki XN85 Turbo. Now this is a true time warp with just 235 miles covered from new. That's 235. Apparently it's one of only 1,153 turbos manufactured and it was formerly used as a training piece in a college. I Just go find another. I'm not sure you could, ever. 1920 Nut Model TT, Newcastle upon Tyne machine, hence nut. The vendor has known this bike since the 1950s and he has been the proud owner since 1962 when he paid the princely sum of £35 for it. It was then professionally restored in the 1980s to concourse standards and he has been the vendor a uh, nut mark specialist for years and was fastidious about originality when the bike was restored. Comes with a great history file, including old photos of the vendor with the bike in the 1950s. Unrepeatable. A 1933 New Imperial 350 Grand Prix bike. New Imperial were regular competitors at the Isle of TT, both as a works outfit and offering factory support. For the 1933 season, they produced five 350cc engines of a unique design for their works team to contest the Junior TT event. Now this has been confirmed that the engine in this machine to be the second of the five produced. After its works life, and unfortunately the engines were a little fragile, 
It was put into a frame in 1935 and sold off as a bike. And this is now the only known surviving example as a bike with the six stud engine. There is apparently one other six stud engine that is known to have survived, but it's not part of a bike. A 1949 Veloset Mark 8 KTT. Now this is, we are told, one of a handful built by Rod Coleman. It was purchased from him by Willie Moreski, who had an incredible museum and collection. And it's described by the vendor as being in excellent overall condition. These KTTs are among the most iconic motorcycles Britain ever produced. 1981 Ducati Mike Halewood replica. Now this Mike Halewood replica has had just one owner for the last 31 years. It's a matching numbers bike and it's an example of the Mark II model with a two-piece fairing. It's been a UK registered machine from new. It's showing just 25,800 miles and it is substantially unrestored and original. Very, very evocative Italian superbike. Not quite so super, but also very special. 1964 Honda CZ100 monkey bike. Again, this has been in the current ownership for 30 odd years. It was previously part of a large private Honda collection and restored a few years ago. It's been dry stored since then. But most importantly, the vendor has very generously decided that all proceeds of the sale are being gifted to the Motor Neurone Disease Charity. So lovely bike, nice backstory and being sold for a very, very worthy cause. 1928 AJS G8. Now, this is just a lovely thing. The longer you look at it, the more appreciation you have for the work that's gone into its restoration, which is chronicled photographically. It's a matching numbers bike. It retains its original registration number. It was on the Banbury run in 2018. It's been dry stored since then. It's got a good history and it's a collectible thing. And as I say, the condition is great. 1976 Kawasaki Z1900 one of the more collectible 70s Japanese bikes. Now, this one was restored to concourse condition in 2018 using mainly new old stock parts. We're told it's a matching numbers bike and it's been part of a private collection and pampered indoors for the last three years. And finally, a 1988 Norton Classic, which is special because it's had just one owner from new. And it's number 80 out of 100 produced and it was taken to Richard Nagus in 2018 for recommissioning. It comes with the original bill of sale. If you want one, this is surely one to have. We very much hope you can join us at the National Motorcycle Museum on Wednesday, June the 9th. Doors open at 9 o'clock and the auction itself will start at 12. We look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching.